Rick's Tool Time. Hello and welcome to Rick's Tool Time. With the month of September breathing down the backs of our necks, we start to think of safe for September. This campaign was started by Andy, Susie, aka Princess Sparky, and our very own eFix Person of the Year, Edwin Clemens, to raise awareness and promote good practices and procedures for isolating live electrical supplies and securing them. An essential part of safe isolation is having an approved voltage indicator and suitable equipment for locking off the circuit you are working on. That's what we have here and more in this safe isolation kit TIS. The centerpiece of this kit is the TIS 8000 open jaw multi-tester which is a fully compliant voltage indicator and also has some other unique features so let's dive in and take a look. Let's look at this open jaw at the front which has a number of functions. First up is a non-contact voltage indicator which is good for detecting the presence of a voltage in a conductor. This could be handy when you are trying to identify you've disconnected the correct circuit or even if a fuse has blown or missing. The open jaw clamp meter can be used to measure AC current flowing in the live conductor as well as the protective conductor. In our installation we have a current in the earthing conductor which increases when our tame tyre fitter next door has his compressor running. Further investigation I think. This feature is a fantastic way to start the investigation into diverted neutral currents as we have at Lineside Studios or possible signs of a broken pen conductor. Having this built into a voltage indicator is a great feature. Of course to be an approved voltage indicator it must still identify voltages with no batteries in the unit. The unit will measure voltages up to 1000 volts AC or 1500 volts DC. Ah, DC. Let's not forget the importance of safe isolation on solar inverters when we are working on them. You can also use this to identify the polarity of the solar string cables. A few other features we like. IP64 ratings so it shouldn't get damaged when Gary leaves it outside or when it's lying around in that dusty tool bag. The test probes meet the requirements of GS38 as the tip caps keep that exposed tip below 4mm. You can also replace the probe leads should you happen to damage them. When carrying out the safe isolation procedure, wouldn't it be nice for a bit of light? The TIS8000 has your back here, illuminating the LCD screen and the test area. As part of the SI kit, there is also a handy little pouch which houses your TIS8000 tester and proving unit which simply makes life easier. Not only to be satisfied with just one pouch, Gary is in his element here. He has two pouches, the second one which holds the essentials like a padlock, hasp, tag and pen and various lockout mechanisms for securing electrical systems. Also on screen, the tester can carry out these other functions. So let me know, what do you think? Is it great or is it a gimmick? Get your votes in, but till then, I'll see you on the flip side. Dada.